Good morning, friends. First of all, let us talk about yesterday's session. Equity benchmarks fell yesterday, dragged by financial and tech stocks, as foreign selling continued amid persistent fear of a prolonged high rate rally. The Nifty fell 0.74% to 17,322, while Sensex closed 0.84% lower to 58,909. The benchmarks have logged losses in the nine of the last 10 sessions after a snapping and eight day losing streak on Wednesday. 11 of the 13 major sectoral indexes fell with the high weighted financial losing 0.85% and IT shedding 1.26% respectively. 9 of the 10 constants of the IT index logged losses led by a 1.9% decline in TCS and 1.6% fall in Infosys. The slide in the IT sector which earns a significant share of its revenues from the US comes after official data showed rise in raw material prices highlighting fears of elevated levels of inflation that could prolong a high rate regime. And talking about the predictions that we had made, RBNL was up by 12%. Global queues. The Dow Jones yesterday closed 341 points up, the NASDAQ closed 83 points up, and as of now, SDX Nifty is trading 103 points up. So we can expect a gap up opening in the Nifty today. Stocks in news. The first stock is Adani Green Energy. The company now has its fourth wind power, solar hybrid power plant fully operational at Jaisalmer in Rajasthan with generation capacity of 700 megawatt taking the total operating renewable portfolio of the company to 8024 megawatt. So we can expect an up move in the stock of Adani Green. The second stock is M&M Financial Services. The non-banking finance company estimated the total disbursement of approximately Rs 4185 crore for February 2023, a 53% growth over February 2022. The loan book in February 2023 grew further by 1.5% over January 2023. So we can expect a up move in the stock of M&M Financial Services as well. The third stock to watch out for is Natco Pharma. The board of the company directors of the pharma company will be meeting on March 8 to consider the proposal for buyback of fully paid up equity shares. So we can expect a up move in the stock of Natco Pharma as well. The first stock is Moy. The state-owned manganese ore producer announced production of 1.31 lakh tons of manganese ore in February 2023, a 10% growth over the same period last year. So we can expect a move in the stock of mine as well. Thank you.